from 2020 to 2022, according to Argentinian immigration data. More than 22,000 Russian citizens entered Argentina, nearly half of them women. Many of them were in the late stages of pregnancy and gave birth to children here. Kirill Makoveev is founder of the RU Argentina Agency, which was created to help Russian immigrants in Argentina. He says business is good. Some 70,000 people consulted our website in the last year regarding giving birth in Argentina. Argentinian law grants any child born in the country automatic citizenship. The baby's parents get permanent residency status and can later apply for an Argentinian passport. An Argentinian passport allows Russians to travel freely to 170 countries. Getting out of Russia has become more costly and in some cases impossible due to travel restrictions some countries have put in place. It also allows them to avoid being drafted to fight in Ukraine. Natalia Xenofontova moved to Argentina from the city of Ufa, Russia, while pregnant with her third child. I have two sons. I realized that the future I had planned for them, going to study in Europe, everything being great, it all got ruined in one day. When I found out I was pregnant with my third child, we had a long think about what to do and made the decision to leave Russia. But Argentinian authorities say that many Russian women given birth here aren't staying in Argentina. In the past year, over half of the Russians who came to Argentina, about 13,000 have since left, many of them women who gave birth in the country. In February, Florencia Carignano, the director of Argentina's immigration office, announced its decision to suspend issuing permanent residency for Russian citizens who give birth in Argentina but spend most of their time in other countries. In January 2023, 4,523 Russian citizens entered Argentina. And these numbers are growing dramatically. We can see the growing number of incoming flights, the growing number of pregnant Russian women. Alla and Andrei Prigolovkin stayed. They initially came to Argentina to avoid the possibility her husband might be drafted to fight in Ukraine. I told him that uh, I worry that he uh, can get into mobilization and I'm afraid that he can die on this war and I will grow our baby alone. Natalia Xenofontova also has no plans to leave Argentina. For now, she and her husband are working remotely, learning Spanish and looking for jobs in Buenos Aires. They say this is their new home and, along with it, new hope for a bright future for their children. Karina Befredjian for VOA News, Washington.